It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking scientific notation. We're going to write the weights of animals in scientific notation, and then we're going to solve problems using operations in scientific notation. Here's our question today. We have a question that has four parts, and here's part A. We have researchers that are reviewing the weights of different animals. We're going to start with part A that has a blue whale that weighs 300,000 pounds. We're asked what is the weight in pounds of the blue whale written in scientific notation. Here's where I'd like you to pause the video, complete part A, and then come back to see my work. Welcome back. So again, we want to determine the weight in pounds of the blue whale and we want to write it in scientific notation. So we're told that it's 300,000 pounds, but let's review what scientific notation is. Scientific notation is a numerical value that has a factor multiplied by a power of 10. So we have to look at our 300,000 pounds and we're going to rewrite this using a factor and a power of 10. So let's write our number down here, understanding that there's that invisible decimal point at the end of the number. We're going to move this decimal point to the left until we have one significant digit to the left of the decimal point. So now we know that our factor is three. Bring that down. To determine the exponent to our power of 10, we're gonna count how many digits we moved our decimal point. We can see that we moved it five decimal places. So five is gonna be my exponent. So 300,000 pounds written in scientific notation is three multiplied by 10 to the fifth pounds. Standard form, scientific notation. All right, let's look at part B. Part B says that we have a thread snake that weighs 0 0.001 pound. That's one one thousandth of a pound. What is the weight in pounds of the thread snake written in scientific notation? Here's where you pause, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Welcome back. So again, we want to know the weight of the thread snake written in scientific notation. So again, I need to have a factor multiplied by a power of 10. So we want to determine the factor and the exponent to our power of 10. We're given this decimal, one one thousandth of a pound, and we want to write that in scientific notation. So we want to move our decimal point, this time it's going to the right, and we want to have one significant digit to the left of the decimal point. So my factor here is one. Now I want to determine what my exponent is. Because this number was less than one, we're going to understand that this going to the right represents a negative exponent. So we went one, two, three digits to the right, so this is going to be negative 3 because this value is less than 1. So 1 1,000th 1, written in scientific notation is going to be 1 multiplied by the power 10 to the negative 3 pounds. Standard form, scientific notation, same numerical value. Let's look at part C. We have the researchers that are going to compare the average weights of elephants and tigers. They're telling us that the average weight of an elephant is 1 multiplied by 10 to the 4th pounds. So here this is in scientific notation. The average weight of a tiger is 6.25, 6 and 25 hundredths multiplied by 10 squared pounds. Again, the tiger's weight is given to us in scientific notation. We want to know how many times greater is the average weight of an elephant than the average weight of a tiger. And we need to show or explain how we get our answer. So you're going to pause, you're going to do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Welcome back. So we want to find the weight of the elephant, divide it by the weight of the tiger to get how many times greater the elephant is than the tiger. So we're told that the elephant is one times 10 to the fourth pounds. So let's take that 
value and replace elephant with 1 times 10 to the fourth. Then we're told that the weight of the tiger is 6.25 times 10 squared pounds. We're going to replace the word tiger with that value. So when we want to divide, we're going to take divide our factors first. So 1 divided by 6.25 using our calculator will give us 16 hundredths, 0 0.16. Now when we divide powers, we're going to subtract our exponents because we have the same base. 4 subtract 2 is 2. So this value, these two scientific numbers, scientific notation values, is 0 0.16 times 10 squared. We divided our factors. We subtracted the exponents of our powers. Now this is not in scientific notation. We would need to move this to one significant digit to the left of the decimal. So if this is going to get larger by one, this has to get smaller by one. So when we do that, we're going to move this over one. We have 1.6. And then this gets smaller by one. So this got larger by one, smaller by one to keep the balance, which gives us 10 to the first. And 1.6 times 10, 10 to the first is 10. We're just going to move the decimal point one digit to the right. And that tells us that this value is 16. So we can say that the elephant is 16 times greater than the weight of the tiger. All right, last part. Here's part D. The researchers have noted that there are 3,200 tigers living in the wild. Using 6.25 times 10 squared pounds as the average weight of a tiger, what is the total weight in pounds of all the tigers living in the wild? And you need to show or explain how you got your answer and write your answer in scientific notation. Go ahead and pause here, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Welcome back. So. Again, we want to know the total weight of all the tigers living in the wild. And we know that we have 3,200 tigers living in the wild, and each one is 6.25 times 10 squared pounds. So if I take this value and I multiply it by all the tigers living in the wild, then I will have the total weight in pounds of all the tigers. So I have a factor multiplied by a factor, and then our power of 10. So we're going to do 6.25 multiplied by 3,200, and we still have to multiply by our power of 10. So 6.25 times 3,200 is going to give me a value of 20,000 multiplied by my power of 10. We're told to write our answer in scientific notation. This is not in scientific notation because there's sig um, five digits to the left of the decimal point that's right here. So let's add our decimal point in. We want to move it so there's one significant digit to the left, which would be a 2. So we're going to have our 2. And then we know that we need to multiply by a power of 10. We moved our decimal point 4. So we're going to add 4 to 2. And that will give us multiply by 10 to the 6th. 2 times 10 to the 6 pounds represents the total weight of 3,200 tigers living in the wild. And there you have it. That is how you use scientific notation. We've reviewed how to write in scientific notation and how to perform operations in scientific notation. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time.